Hello, this is Enrique from DN Simple. Today, I will walk you through our DN Simple API Java client and how you can automate your domain management by showing you how to register a domain programmatically. I will do this in our sandbox environment where you can play with our API at no cost. The sandbox environment behaves with a few exceptions just like our production environment. Let's Encrypt certificates cannot be issued in the sandbox environment, nor will the domains you register be registered for real. You don't need to worry about spending any money on domain registrations while using our sandbox environment, though, as this is all pretend. OK, let's get started. First, we will head to our sandbox environment at sandbox.dnsimple.com. Once you log into the sandbox environment, you will see your dashboard with all the domains you might have registered already. On the top right, you will see an account link. Clicking on it, you will be on your account page. At the bottom of the left menu, you will see the automation link. Once we follow this link, we'll see our API tokens, if we have any, webhooks, applications, and developer applications. For today, we are only going to look into API tokens. So let's do that and create a new API token for our sample code. We click on New, and we are shown a form where we can name our token. This will help in the future to know which token you're using where. You use names that you will remember, and you can associate easily to the applications you're working on. Let's call our token Java Tutorial and generate it. Now we can see the token, and we are prompted to save it somewhere, as it will not be displayed afterwards again. I'm not going to close the browser or move away from this window for the moment, as we will need the token later. I could just save it quickly in a note-taking app, but I'm not going to do that. Now that we have everything we need to start working on our Java tutorial, let's start our IDE. I'm using IntelliJ from JetBrains, but you can use whichever IDE you prefer. I have an empty file, and the first thing I'm going to do is to add a simple output so that you can see that it's actually working. And run it. All right. Let's start. I will use this same file with a hello and simple message and just change it as I go along. After each run, I might comment out some parts so that we don't need to run the commands over and over again. The first thing we want to do is to create an instance of our DN simple client, which is our entry point to the API. We call new client and call the builder method. Tell it to use the sandbox environment. Add our access token. and call build. I left the access token empty, so let's go back to the browser and copy the token, paste it in there, and with this, we should be ready to interact with the sandbox environment. The first thing we're going to do is to get our account ID and store it in a variable. For this, we will be using the identity service calling who am I. Depending on which credentials you use, you will either have an account or a user object attached to the result of the operation. As we're using an account token, we will get the account ID from the account, and we're going to print it to the console for the moment so that you can see what's going on. Now that we have our account ID, we can go and check for a domain so that we can register it. Let's first check a domain that should not be available, although we never know as we are in our sandbox environment. Anyways, let's see if google.com is available. OK, good. It's not available. Now let's see if we can find a domain that is available so we can register it. javatesting.com should be fine. Let's see. OK, great. It's available. Before we continue registering this domain, we need to create a contact that will be associated to the domain we're registering. When it comes to contacts, it's really important that your contact information is up to date in case you're contacted by ICANN, the organization that oversees domain name registrations for most top-level domains. I recommend not using the email address of the domain you're registering currently, but use one that you've been using up until now. OK, let's create our contact, shall we? We're going to call the contact service create contact method, passing in our account ID and a contact options object. So let's create that contact options. So it's contact options of my first name, my last name, my address, the city, the state, postal code, country, my email, 
And finally, phone number. Now we're going to call the create contact from the contact service, passing in the account ID and the contacts options as we said before. And at this point, we can actually register our domain. So let's do that. We're going to call the registrar endpoint register domain method, add the account ID, the domain name we want to register and pass in the registration options with the ID of the contact we just created. Okay, our domain is now created. So we can go ahead and for the time being, just list the domains we have. I have a few domains registered already. So let's see if we can find ours. There it is. Nice. Let's now add a zone record to our domain. As a simple example, I'm going to add a CNAME record to point our domain to the DN Simple blog. We're going to call the zones endpoint, create zone record method, passing in the account ID, the domain name, and a zone records options object with the name blog, the type CNAME, and the content blog.dnsimple.com. Remember when I said earlier that some of the functionality of the Sandbox environment is limited? This is one such case. Even though we've added the CNAME record to point at blog.dnsimple.com, this will actually not work. Anyways, now that the record is created, Let's list the zone records for this domain. For this, we're going to call the zones endpoint again, but this time the list zones method. And print them out. And there they are. Today, I've given you a little glimpse of what you can do with our Java API client, registering a domain, creating zone records, but also how to start using our sandbox environments to get you started with your domain automation. Please do check our developer documentation to see all the endpoints and actions you can perform to automate your domain management using DN Simple. We also have comprehensive support articles that will help you to dig deeper into what you can do with our services. I also want to point you to our Java API client cheat sheet where you can find sample code of things we've been doing today and some more. Please do reach out if you need help or plan using our services and we'll do our best to help you out at support at dnsimple.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.